sister and I'm here doing an interview and a live session for Swash TV. We should go there. How did I get started in music? I um, I started out by going to like a community centre that was in my small town in the northeast of England uh, called TCR Music and they encouraged like young people in the town to come down and learn instruments and write songs and that's how I really got started and I think I was about 15 then. The best place I've performed, uh, probably the Sage Centre in Gateshead, if you're from Newcastle you'll know where I mean, it's just a really beautiful centre. Uh, where else have I played that's been good? Ronnie Scott's, that was um, a few months ago and that was a big one for me, yeah. It was really scary actually. Lonely, lonely, lonely. What's happened to me that was funny while I was playing? Oh god, it's really embarrassing. I was like 16 I think and I was just starting gigs uh, by myself and I in the middle of a song, I was really nervous before I went on, and in the middle of a song I spilt a big pint of water all down the front of the stage and it blew the speakers. It was horrible. It wasn't so much funny as mortifying. <laughs> starstruck when I met um, Sol Davies from James who's a really great guitarist and he's just got a really unique sound and I met him about a year ago and I uh, didn't know what to say and I got really starstruck when I met Stephen Fry actually <laughs> I got all like flustered and offered to marry him <laughs> um, I really like um, like old films um, I'm a big fan of like uh, kind of sweeping orchestral type sounds and my friends as well like I've, I've got so many amazing really talented friends um, just going to gigs and playing with them if we can put your music device on shuffle maybe see what the first <laughs> yeah. three, three songs are of course you can my god this is going to be dreadful give it a go now I have to figure out how to actually put it on shuffle <laughs> Mm -hmm. There we are. Good one. Thank God. Velvet Underground. Pale Blue Eyes. Classic. Lou Reed is a legend. So Do you want me to play the whole song? Oh. Shall I shut it off? Oh, Morrissey. <laughs> Morrissey. Dramatic number. At last I am born. The leader of the Tormentors. Another Morrissey track, Come Back to Camden. Morrissey. Is this on shuffle? <laughs> oh, Tori Amos. Thank God my, my iPod's been really nice to me. I was scared about this. She's got a beautiful voice. The Smiths, I'm a big Smiths fan, as you can tell. Put off the sea for feel you love me now. But one day you want um, I'm listening to my friends' bands are the favourite ones for me to talk about. So I'm listening to a lot of Jay Brown. Uh, she's like an up and coming acoustic artist and uh, with a really beautiful voice. Uh, Frank Abolo, who are like a, an Americana 90s post grunge thing. Um, and then I always listen to loads of like oldies like um, Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen and um, classic singers like Julie London and Aretha Franklin and all those great people. Big mix. Only to night. Who would I like to collaborate with? I don't know, I'm not very good with collaborations. <laughs> I get really control freaky about everything. I'd need someone quite chilled out. Um, I'd like to collaborate with Leonard Cohen. <laughs> to find more of my music, uh, I'm on YouTube forward slash O Sister Music and uh, online osistermusic.com. And come and follow me on Twitter because I like talking to people on Twitter, it's much better than doing any work. <laughs>